The law known as the USA Freedom Act will end collection of Americans' telephone records by the National Security Agency and will curtail the massive data surveillance exposed by Edward Snowden, a fugitive former contractor for the agency. Some of the most senior Republicans in Congress opposed it. It does not enhance the privacy protections of American citizens, and it surely undermines American security by taking one more tool from our warfighters, in my view, at exactly the wrong time. The government still will be able to get access to some telephone records, the numbers called, the dates and the duration of talks, but not the content. Some in the media call the new law a victory for Snowden, who now lives in asylum in Russia. Speaking by video link Tuesday, Snowden told Amnesty International in Britain that surveillance of telephone calls does not help prevent terrorist attacks. There is because when you have individuals like me who are ultimately responsible for this going into a desk every morning and trying to search through the world's communications from the previous day, the previous week, the previous month, you realize very quickly that if we collect everything, we understand nothing. But without a law in place, no surveillance is possible at all, and that prompted some Republicans to agree to a compromise. Democrats in the Senate defended the bill. The House passed USA Freedom Act is measured, compromise legislation that is the result of lengthy negotiations. It brings much needed reforms to some of our surveillance authorities, ensuring that we safeguard America's, Americans' rights while increasing the government's accountability. Later Tuesday, President Barack Obama signed the bill, which he described as vital in protecting the safety as well as civil liberties of the American people. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.